Hi, welcome to another video. So, Kimi has launched a new model, which is an improved version of the previous Kimi K2 model. They are calling it 0905. I was given early access to this model by them. At the time that I'm posting this video, and since I've been using it for a bit, it should be available for you guys to try out as well. So, I've been testing this new model, and it's pretty good. Let's talk about the pricing first. It still stands at the same super cheap pricing, which is $0.15 cents and $2.50, while the turbo version of this model, which is faster in inference, but still the same model, costs a bit higher at $2.40 and $10 respectively. I have mainly tested the base low-cost version. The weights of this model have also been released. So, you can compare the prices on other providers as well and choose what suits you the best. Anyway, if we talk about the on-paper upgrades, then first of all, the context window has been improved to 256k tokens, which is an awesome and very useful upgrade. Similarly, they say that it now has sharper coding skills, especially for front-end and tool calling. It is also now better at tool calling for things like Claude Code, Rue Code, Codex, and stuff like that, which is quite awesome if you ask me. It is generally about a 10% improvement over the previous model in raw intelligence, while in most of the benchmarks, it is also about a 10% improvement. Now, let's talk about my benchmarks. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, Back to the video. So, it stands at 10th position in my raw benchmarks, and it's an improvement from the last version. It's better than Sonnet, but just slightly worse than things like GLM. The floor plan that it generates is kind of good, but the walls and stuff in this don't make sense. Still, it does indeed make the stuff, which is great. It is not a reasoning model. So, it makes sense that it can't really think through the stuff. The SVG generation is not super great. The chessboard also works, but it doesn't make legal moves. Not at all. It checks the king and everything, which is not good. But the functionality works. The butterfly is quite good, though. You can see the butterfly flying and everything as well. The CLI tool for image conversion is also great but the Blender script doesn't work. This makes it score the 10th position on my tests, which I think is quite good for an open model. But this model is apparently better at agentic tasks now. I think that this model was already great at tool calling, but it is now better at agentic tasks with multiple tool callings, especially in things like Claude Code, Rue Code, and Klein. You can actually use this model for yourself for free via Kilo Code, you can just get it installed, and then go there, and then just redeem the $25 free credits that you get, and then just select the new Kimi model, and you should be off to the races. It's pretty great here as well. So, I am actually working on a new agentic test as well. I'm at about four questions as of now, and I did test some agents like Claude Code, Codex, and the GLM coding plan but I also tested this new Kimi model combined with Claude Code. So, the first question that I tried was to ask it for a movie tracker app in Expo that uses the TMDB API, and it did it kind of well. 
The movies look nice here. The inner page is a bit wonky, but the calendar is pretty good. So, I gave it good marks here. But GLM and Claude Code are better in this case. If I had to show you, then this is the GLM creation that I made, and it looks pretty cool. Like, really cool. This is much more usable and doesn't have a lot of issues. Claude is also great, and it works well. But the worst one is by Codex, which is good, but very lackluster. It doesn't have correct colors, the title bar is left as is, and it's just not as great. Next, I've got this question to build me a good-looking Go-based terminal calculator using bubble tea that is like a retro calculator. And what you'll see is that none of them succeed in building this. Neither Kimmy, Claude, nor Codex succeeds, but GLM actually succeeds in this and builds this good-looking thing, which is quite awesome. Next, I had asked it to edit a Godot-based game, where I gave it a basic FPS shooter Godot game and asked it to incorporate a step tracker. In the settings, I can set a step target and see a progress bar at the top, but Kimmy fails here. The only one to pass this with ease is Claude, which actually does this in one shot, whereas all the other ones just fail blatantly. They replace the main scenes or something like that. The last question was to ask it to incorporate an SVG generation slash command in the open code repo, and none of them are able to do this yet. So, this also fails. This scores the third position above Codex, but below GLM and Claude Code. Claude Code is the best here. I haven't tried out Rue and Klein in these benchmarks, but I'll do it in some free time. I think that this is a good model. If you liked the previous Kimi model for whatever reason, then this is a way better option now. It's still one of the biggest open models with one trillion parameters. Also, make sure that you keep the temperature set to 0.6 for the best generations, as that's what they recommend. I made sure that it was set for both the agentic coding and the raw tests. So yeah, I think that this is a good model and really reliable in tool calling. But still, considering the size, I think the performance based on the density is not as great as I would have liked. So, it still lacks there. And I hope Kimi 3 or 2.5 improves even more, because GLM is really good now. I have a video coming up about the GLM coding plan and comparing it with Codex and Claude Code in some cool tasks. So, check that out when it comes out. I think GLM is currently the best AI coder for me. Let's see if Kimi comes out with a new coding-like plan similar to Claude Code and GLM. But the model is pretty good, though not as great as some smaller models that we got after Kimi launched. So, it still needs to catch up a bit. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.